This is another GIMP text effect tutorial, and as you can see here, we're going to be making some glowy rainbow colored text like this. So let's get started. First of all, this tutorial relies pretty heavily on a specific font, so you're going to need to go to this page at defont.com and download this font called Benny Blanco. I'll put the link in the description. So go ahead and just click the download button to download the font and install it on your computer. If you're not sure how to do that, you can follow this link to the site's homepage and they have a little description of how to install fonts on various operating systems down here. And you can also click on the help link for more detailed instructions. So once you've done that, go ahead and restart GIMP and then create a new image. Use whatever size you want, but I'll be doing 600 by 400 pixels. Then grab your paint bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground, foreground color is black and go ahead and fill in the background with black. Then grab your text tool, switch your foreground color to white, and choose that font that you should have just installed. I'll be using a size of 125 pixels, but you can use whatever fits your canvas. So just click somewhere on your image and type your text. As you can see, the letters are pretty close together, so I'm going to go over here to my tool options and change this letter spacing to about 10, so there's a little more room in between the letters. And grab your alignment tool, change this drop down menu to image, click on your text, and then press these two buttons to center your text relative to the image. Then duplicate your text layer and hide the bottom one. On this layer, check this box to lock the alpha channel. What that does is it allows us to paint on a text layer without affecting the transparency around the text. So all of our changes will stay inside the text and we don't have to worry about going outside the lines. Then change your foreground color to something else, like this red color. Grab your bucket fill tool. Make sure this fill hole selection item is checked. And fill in your text. Then change your foreground color to something else, like this pink. Grab your paintbrush tool. Set the brush to the largest fuzzy brush and increase the scale to around 5. Then brush some places on your text to add some more color. Then get another color. I'll use this blue. And brush some more. Finally, I'm going to add some yellow. And I'm going to decrease my skip brush scale a little bit so that I don't cover up as much of the original colors. Should have something like this. Then go ahead and duplicate this layer. And on the top layer, uncheck this box. Then right click on the layer and choose Layer to Image Size. Next go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change the radius to 15. Set this layer's mode to Addition. This makes the text look a lot more glowy, but we can do better than that. So make a new layer and fill it with black using your bucket fill tool. Then set the layers mode to dodge and you should be able to see your text again. Then change your foreground color to white, get your paintbrush, keep the fuzzy brush but lower the size to around 1.5 and lower the opacity down to about 30. Then you just want to brush on spots that you want to highlight to make these little glowy spots like this where it's super shiny. Um, I find that it seems to work especially well on the yellow and bluish areas. So the colors that you pick for your text will definitely affect how this step works. 
and you can see if you click a lot in the same spot you get this kind of bulging effect where the highlight bleeds out of the edges of the text which looks cool but you definitely don't want to overdo it I think that's pretty good. So you can do as much or as little as you want. Um, <clears throat> once you have that, then all you have to do is move your original text layer above everything else, unhide it, right click on it and choose alpha to selection. So you get the selection around the border of your text. Then go to select shrink, change this to two. Then select um, invert and press your delete key to erase the rest of your selection and go to select none and there you have it this is your glowy rainbow color text um, it's a pretty cool effect so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see some more GIMP tutorials from me in the future you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel I'll definitely be posting more GIMP tutorials and probably some tutorials for other free programs that I like to use as well so thanks for watching